Ready? I'm ready. Cool. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. <laughs> professional. Come on. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well. Hello, everybody. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, um, I'm James. He's Jake. And we are Flawless Films. And, you know, we haven't made a video in a while. And we're really disappointed that we haven't had one out properly. But we haven't had time to make it our usual epicness that we can. I so it takes time. You know, it does. It takes a lot of time. But we haven't, had, we haven't had the time. So we went, we think, oh, we're going to make a tutorial. We wanted to make more, and we think now is the best time to do it. So this one's going to be about guns, because you all know we love our guns. Everyone who knows of us always associates us with guns, which is worrying in some ways. Yeah, which is worrying in some ways, but you know, everyone's got a speciality. So yeah, first things first, airsoft guns. They're the way to go. Do not use real guns. Airsoft are safe, and you shouldn't, you can't do any real damage with them as long as you're safe with them. Um, always warn if you're going to use these guns because people can still mistake them for the real ones. Okay. Always warn people if you're going to use real guns. Um, you don't use real guns. Always warn if they're going to use them. Um, Anyway, this long point. Warn people if you're going to use real looking guns because you can still get cold on them. So yeah, basically this is the effect we're going to try and show. Dude! You said you wanted to show it. No. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do uh, is place our image of a muzzle flash over the top of our video. Um, normally we would use like action essentials plant or something. But uh, just so that everyone can you know, do what we're doing, we're just picking. This is one of the first things that comes up on Google Images. So, yeah, just get the size right. Um, but the same size as the gun, maybe a tiny bit bigger, it's normally about right. You even talk, or is it just going to be on me? <laughs> okay, we're just going to add a, I don't know how to say it, Gaussian, Gaussian, okay. a blur, which just kind of takes the edge off the flash a little bit. Uh, yeah, so it looks more, you know. Sewer to the environment. Okay, so the next stage is to drag in your smoke. Um, I'm using a free one. Um, again, instead of using Action Essentials, just so everyone can do the same. Uh, this one's actually from Film Riot. If you, I'm not sure which episode, but it's not, it's, it's a free thing in one of our episodes, and uh, it's a long video with lots of different smoke things that they made themselves. So yeah, go and get that if you need a, a smoke asset. All right, okay, so position the smoke. Behind your muzzle flash, um, you want this to be bigger than the flash itself. Uh, not on a great amount, but bigger. Okay, so just uh, mess around with the size of your smoke asset until you're happy with that. Again, bigger than the flash, but not too much. Um, that's kind of crappy at the moment. Yeah, you got to make sure the smoke's already a bit exploded, whatever my word is. Yeah, yeah, so take, you want to take off the first frame or two so that the smoke's kind of... You know, already by the time expanding. The, yeah, by the time the flash disappears, you want the smoke to already be on its way. So that's looking a little bit better. I'll play with the opacity as well, just to get that right. So what we're going to do now is duplicate our footage layer, the actual video that we filmed. Uh, duplicate that, add the top layer, to, uh, the blending mode, the top layer to add. This will kind of brighten the screen up uh, in a nice way. <laughs> and then I'm so far behind. With the masking tool, mask out the areas that you think will be affected by the light of the muzzle flash. So I'm going to go for the wall behind the actual flash, uh, my arms, like uh, face. yeah, and a bit of my face. As soon as you've done that, you want to just change the feather in for all three of these masks. Drag it right up, just to get rid of the you know, solid edges. Just drag that out. Not too much on the arm and face. The uh, one behind the wall wants to be feathered a lot more because it's so much bigger and brighter. Okay, so let's check that out. It's a little bright. Yeah, it's just turn the opacity down. That seems about okay. What do you think, James? Yeah, looking good. Okay, so there you go, there's a basic muzzle flash. 
Give it a go. Woo! Send us your videos, we like to see them. Try.